Man, all those people asking for a wide receiver must be pissed. Crossy Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Podcast, the podcast for an be Packers fan. But it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Grassi. And with the 185th pick coming in the sixth round, the Green Bay Packers picked up Kadar Holman, the cornerback out of Toledo. Before we break him down, well, I want to do a big shout out and thank you to my Patreons over at patreon.com slash Tom Grassi Comedy for your continued support. If you would like to join in their support and get some cool rewards, just check out patreon.com slash Tom Grassi Comedy. Now, cornerback was uh, kind of like on the on the edge of needs, I would argue, for the Packers because we have Kevin King, right? We also have Josh Jackson. And the issues with those guys is Kevin King, when he's on the field, is great. But when he's not on the field, which is almost all the time because he's always injured, that's a significant problem. And then Josh Jackson, we honestly just don't know what we have in him. Obviously, he had very limited playing experience uh, in college, and that showed a lot last year. We're hoping that he can make the jump. And I think Holman is a good backup and can provide some depth at that position. So uh, six feet, 196 pounds. He's a former walk-on, which, you know, underdog. I absolutely love that idea. Um, didn't participate in the combine, but his pro day, he killed it. Ran a 4.3940, 38-inch vertical, ran a 6.81 cone. Uh, taking a look at his stats, in 2016, he had 25 solo tackles and eight passes defended. 2017, 26 solo tackles, one interception, and seven passes defended. And his best year was his previous year in 2018 with 32 solo tackles, one interceptions, and 12 passes defended. Now, taking a look at some of the positives, he would be good as a press corner. And so I think right now with the, the cornerbacks that we have, right, there, there's a lot of potential. And I don't see this guy being an immediate starter. Obviously, when you're picking at the sixth round, you, you hope that they will one day be a starter. But I don't see, the, the, I don't see him playing uh, and making an impact immediately. But um, just kind of some of his stats real quick. He had a 40% completion rating uh, in 2018. He's not afraid of tackling, which, oh, God, I love it. And then some of the, the downfalls or the negatives is that starting his rookie season, he is already going to be 25 years old. So that's a little bit of a knock for him. Uh, he's also been uh, dinged on the length of his arms uh, that are they're a little bit too short. And on some of the tape that I was able to take a look at, it seems that he does play the receiver a bit more than he actually plays the ball. But yeah, that could also be taught. I mean, like you looked at a guy like Greedy Williams, for example, when we did a breakdown on him. He's another cornerback who was definitely more of the I'm going to be on top of this receiver and make a play that way. And it could draw some penalties you know, instead of actually going up for the ball. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So overall, I, I like this pick. Uh, I don't mind the fact that we addressed the cornerback position early. Again, I would have, I would have, I, I liked Darnell Savage. I would have liked to have some more fourth round picks, but, um, you know, it, it's okay. We also haven't addressed inside linebacker yet, which could be problematic, but I'm also believing in Oren Burks. But overall on Kadar Holman, Taking a look at the little bit of tape that I did, it seems that he has definitely potential. It looks like he has good potential. He has good instincts. It's just a matter of he's going to be able to sit behind, hopefully very soon, to be pro bowler Jair Alexander and also provide some stiff competition to Kevin King if he or potentially replace Kevin King if Kevin King doesn't play and or Josh Jackson, whatever winds up uh, being the case with him. But I'm curious to see what you think. Are you pissed off because we still haven't gotten a wide receiver or all your wide receivers gone? Or are you happy getting in a cornerback and addressing the position? Again, what I like about this draft is we are really building that depth. And so there's that common phrase in Green Bay of next man up. Now we actually have men to, to step up. So that'll be, that'll be a nice change of pace. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-I Comedy, at TomGrassyComedy, all the social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, and of course here on YouTube multiple times per week. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll come up with a video for Dexter Williams next. I'm Tom Grassi. And as always, Go Pack Go!